Hello, welcome back to Benny's Take. I'm your girl Benny, and today I'm super duper excited to just like bring you some of the thoughts of the week. I am trying to make sure that I'm putting out content as consistently as I possibly can because again, your girl has a goal to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of this year, which means you know i need to do my share even when i'm asking you all to come and do your share in subscribing and doing all of the things so my biggest hurdle has been editing so i'm trying to make this as concise as possible i'm trying to talk as slowly as possible amen that way editing does not take me as long as it needs to with me having to remove a lot of fillers like you know arms um, you know what I'm saying? You know, granted, you're going to get a little bit of it here and there. But for the most part, I'm working on making sure that I am getting better at my speech. Did you notice that pause? I had to pause because I didn't want to just add stuff for the sake of adding stuff. But without further ado, if you haven't subscribed, please go. Hey! Jesus, you see how hard I'm working, Jesus. How you going how you gonna fumble my tongue like that? Hey. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so that you always know when I upload. Make sure that you're checking my description box for all the ways that you can support me. I have merch, I have an Amazon storefront, I have a journal on Amazon, I have so many different ways that i'm trying to get this coin amen so definitely check the description box as well and without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video child there's a lot of foolery going on there's a lot of foolery going on and i'm just like i don't know what pandemic we are on right now because right now it is giving a lot of sassiness with a lot of young men it's giving a lot of sassy energy. It's giving a lot of we gonna do the bare minimum. It's just, it's not giving, you know what I'm saying? It's not giving what I think it's giving. So with that said, let's go ahead and just start with this first video. I'm gonna leave it right here so we all can see it. So we all know what we're talking about. The very first thing that I wanna talk about is this video that has gone viral of sis. Is somebody gonna say no? Hey! Oh my God! Hey! He crying, y'all. He crying. He crying. Yo, y'all seeing this? He crying. Hey! She said the bar, y'all. She said the bar. Hey. Everybody knew. Everybody knew, y'all. Everybody knew that sis was gonna do this nobody said nothing this the bar this the bar why the bar in the garbage y'all why is the bar in the garbage i'm sorry i, I i'm sorry y'all because ain't no way and I, I, I would rather sweep the beach you know what I'm saying? I would rather sweep the beach. I would rather sweep my house with a toothbrush. You understand what I'm saying? I would rather sweep my house with a toothbrush. Soon as I'm done with that, I will mop the ocean with a bucket. I will take a, I will start, I will dig, you know? I will mop, I will mop the ocean with a paper towel. What else can I do before I could do this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would, I would go ahead and kneel down on sand for an entire day before I would do this. The bar, 
the bar is in the garbage, and that's a problem. I'm sorry, sis. I nobody should be getting down on the knee for a nigga. Nobody should be getting down on the knee to propose to a man and then have the man be sitting here like <laughs> if you don't get up, if you don't get up, what is going on? It's giving soft pain. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It is giving soft pain. It is giving, yeah, I need to come a little harder. No. No. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. But for me, I feel as though there are certain things that you just have to let a dude step it up. I'm sorry. Like, for you to have spoken to his mama, for you to have spoken to his sister, she going to say his mama say yes, his sister say like, everybody like, who? Somebody say no. Like, I, somebody, like your cousin, you know what I'm saying? Like your pet cousin. You know, your dermatologist. Somebody tell that baby no, because this ain't it. Mm-mm. Y'all can drag me, y'all can come for me, but this ain't it. Amen? No. No. You can have your, in my opinion, again, I'm coming out here on high body like this, my life. This ain't. I'm married to a man that proposed to me. Amen? He wanted me, so he made it known that he wanted me. And as a Congolese woman, he had to make sure that there were certain things that he had to do to get the blessing of my family. So there was a dowry in place. There was all these different things. So this baby got a ring, paid the dowry, did all these different things, jumped all through this, jumped through all these different hoops, and now we married. So it is my opinion that certain things men just got to do. Since you're the price, a woman is the price. A woman is the price, a woman is the catch, and I'm going to stand on that hill until Jesus returns. You know what I'm saying? By the way, shout out to baby Jesus. His birthday tomorrow, y'all. Um, sweet baby Jesus, Merry Christmas to y'all. Everybody that celebrate, Merry Christmas to y'all. And I know a lot of people... Uh, feel sometimes offended when people say Merry Christmas. You're supposed to say Happy Holiday, da, da, da. like I get it. I get the reasoning behind that. But I believe in sweet black Jesus. Amen. And even if his birthday, because a lot of y'all be coming over here like, yeah, I don't even know if his birthday was, you know, December 25th. Baby, his birthday could have been February 22nd. His birthday could have been February 32nd. His birthday could have been whenever it was. If we decide we want to celebrate that baby on uh, December 25th, that's when we're going to celebrate him. Who calling me? Those of us that believe in him, we've decided that December 25th is when we're going to celebrate him. So that's when we're going to celebrate him. And if you don't celebrate him, that's fine. But for me and my household, it's going to be Merry Christmas tomorrow. You know? And then after that, you know, happy holidays because I don't know all the holidays that people celebrate, but I celebrate Christmas. So I'm going to wish all the niggas that celebrate happy, uh, I'm going to wish all the niggas that celebrate Christmas a Merry Christmas. If that offends you, uh, I don't know. You're going to have to speak to management. You know, whatever your management is, go ahead and speak to them because in this household, it's going to be Merry Did You Know that your baby boy, that's what's going to do. That's what it's going to give. Amen. Like, shout out to baby Jesus on his birthday, you know, and uh, I'm going to be celebrating. I'm going to be eating a lot. It's going to do. We're going to let it do what it do. Anyway, Sha, next story while this thing dries out, because again, the foolery continues. But like I said, I believe that a woman is the price. A woman is a catch. You carry yourself accordingly. You move accordingly. And it's just... We can disagree on that, that's fine, but I just don't think a man should be sitting there and let his woman propose to him. Like, take leadership. Take leadership. Show that you care. Show that you're invested by making, you know, by taking that next step. It is just my personal opinion, and it's my page, so I'm sharing my opinion. It's Benny's take. This is my take on this. Amen? Let's... Who calling? My God. So, next story. We have Brother Jonathan Owens who says that his wife, Simone Biles, um, I'm going to let y'all listen to this, but he essentially is saying that he was a catch and, you know, he wasn't, let's, let's just let it play. That you're who you are. So literally have been on app for a couple of days, man. And it's like, she pops up and I'm like, mm, let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So 
it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. A, I, I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout, and I come back, and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone, and then she messages me on the app like. Hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a, man, this gotta be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good. If, yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched like, you know, Jonathan, I'm going to let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she, she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday. And we, we, we were texting back and forth. And then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So um, she came through down, um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs. So she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in. I always say we, the men the catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. You know, I am not going to assume that everybody, you know, watches gymnastics. You know, some people may not, right? But for somebody who is also an athlete yourself, you don't necessarily have to have been into gymnastics to know who Simone was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not the girl that's like, you know, watching all of the games. I'm not a sports girl at all, you know. But even I know who Simone Biles is. So, yes, I was just kind of like, okay, giving him the benefit of the doubt because, again, you, you know, maybe you were living under a rock. Maybe so many different things were going on and you just didn't know. So, yes, I was giving him the benefit of a doubt and, you know, that's, that's what it is. Until the point where then he said, you know, she, I went and I looked. She has a bunch of followers, so I guess she must be good. Then you went ahead and responded. That to me was a little bit like, mm. so you waited until you saw that she had a lot of followers. Then you went ahead and responded. So you, you, you guys matched. She messages you. You don't say nothing. You wait until you see she has a lot of followers. Then you're like, oh, let me see what this is about. That to me is a little like, mm. Mm. what's going on? What are we doing? Like, I was just kind of like, okay, pause. But let's keep listening. I thought she was edited in. You know, I thought like as they were talking about her, they just edited her in. Sis was there the whole time. Which is interesting to me because one thing for me, I'm never going to be, you know, offended about something that you yourself are not offended for. Because if you like it, baby, I love it. If you like it, I'm in love. But it was just interesting for me to hear him say these things. And she was just like, there. Maybe they have a different relationship. It's not the kind of relationship that I'd be having, amen, because as the video progressed, I feel like just he just continues to dig himself in a little bit of a hole. She came through. She drove about 45 minutes to me. So you swipe her. Find out you guys are a match. You don't say nothing because, you know what I'm saying, like, you, you, you in your little soft girl era and you want to be, you know, you want to be chased too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to be chased, you know? So then she messages you. You don't respond. You go ahead and take your shower. You go ahead and do whatever you had to do. You make her wait. Then you go on her Instagram. Then you see she has a bunch of followers. Then you go back. You're like, okay, let me see, you know, let me see what this is about. Then you respond. But then even then, you don't make an effort to go ahead and go see what she's about. You don't make an effort to go ahead and go check her out or drive to her halfway. Shoot, like pandemic and all, the parks was open. The parks was open, amen? The parks was open. The parks was open. The parks was open. So you don't make no extra move. You don't do nothing. She even drives 45 minutes, breathing all the COVID air, just like, 
Since you just inhaling COVID, 45 minutes to come to you. The man at the actual catch, and she really did book me. Bless her poor little ting ting her. Because as all this is happening, sis is just that giddy. Sis is just like. And then later on in a different video, she goes on to say that very soon they will know, they will know him. Right now they know him as Simone Biles' husband, but very soon they will know her as Jonathan Owen's wife. Sis, you really said that and diminish your entire accomplishment for a dude that's gonna go on a podcast because you know they're doing podcasts these days like man i just these niggas they're doing podcasts you sit here and undermine your own achievements for a dude that's gonna get on a podcast because they got the podcast everybody's on the podcast saying some things on the podcast you sit here and you undermine your own self over a dude that's gonna say he was the catch, and that you basically chased after him. My sister, hmm. Now I ain't gonna call you dumb, because I don't do that, you know? But one thing I'm gonna say is couldn't be me. <laughs> Amen, it couldn't be me. Bless Apollo Ting Ting Ha, you know? Bless her heart, because this is giving sassy to me. I can tell she loves him. And nothing wrong with that. Love your man, support your man. But this is, this right here, a part of me just want to be like, I hope y'all got a prenup in place. Amen. I hope you have a prenup in place because one thing people have done, which I don't agree with, this is one thing I will say. I don't agree with people going around talking about, well, you know, she is Simone Biles, this, that, and the third. She is the catch. Da, 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 da. I believe she's the catch. I believe women in general are the catch in the relationship. And she's unique. She's strong. She's beautiful. She's confident. She's gentle. She's all of those things. But I don't believe that anybody's a catch, whether men or women. I don't believe anybody's a catch because of what they do professionally. You know what I'm saying? Because we've seen a lot of these men who are such, you know, professional giants in the fields who make a lot of money. They have a lot of stature. But we see how they've treated women. So for me, a catch isn't somebody that thrives in their, you know, in their career, which is, you know, it's beautiful. It's, a, it's definitely a plus, you know. But to me, a catch in a relationship has to do with your integrity, it has to do with the way you're talking about your partner, which clearly, Mr. Jonathan Owens, you are evidently not doing a good job at that. And I understand why people are dragging you because at the very least, if you had your career in order, if you had your career lined up, amen, maybe the rest of us would not feel some type of way with you calling D. Simone Biles not the catch. But I do believe that just because somebody does well professionally does not make them a catch relationally. Because we've seen all these powerful men abusing women, abusing their women, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically. We've seen cheating scandals. And these are coming from these powerful men who are like, you know, giants in the field, yet and still, they're not good partners. So the way you are professionally, doesn't always translate to how you are relationally. So I don't believe that people should necessarily drag him and be like, well, let's look at your stats. You're not scoring this, that, and the third. No. He is a lousy partner because of what he just said. It's giving lousy. It's giving lazy. It's giving sassy. It's very much giving soft spin. And her backing that statement with, like, very soon they're going to know me as Jonathan Owen's wife, that's just... You're diluting yourself to maintain this man's fragile ego. This same man who had no business downplaying you on a podcast. Because, you know, they love podcasts. That's just like, she don't deserve that. You know, like, you don't deserve that. So I hope, you know, with all these gymnastics that you're doing in real life and all the backwards gymnastics you're trying to do, to, you know, amend and tend to his ego and make sure that you're not coming across as da, 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 da. 
I hope within all this gymnastics, I hope there's a paper trail that says, if he ever come at you sideways, that the money gonna stay with you, sis. Because the stats are not looking good. But let me know what y'all think, you know? I don't, I don't believe that any man should speak to their partner in that way. And I certainly don't believe any woman should speak to their partner in that way. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like she really tried her best to uplift him, to talk good about him. Because these very men on the podcast, if you listen to the video to the end, they were looking at him like, nigga, what? I know you're not talking. I know you're not talking. You know what I'm saying? And so she did her best to uplift her husband, which she should have, but the husband didn't give, that, give her that. And that's just kind of like soft pain. Amen? Soft pain and next. Soft pin and fragile egos. That's what it's giving. Y'all, when I'm telling you my camera has been brutal with me, it keeps dying, it keeps doing the most. But we're going to let it do what it do. We're going to keep, you know, we're going to keep the faith. We're going to keep starting and restarting. I had to do a little bit more under eye here, you know, off camera because, baby, this makeup was drying on me and then I kept talking. It was just a lot going on, you know, but that was that. Let me know. Comment down below your thoughts. Really, I'm really curious. Like, am I just... Am I too girly? Because I'm like, I just don't want my mates to talk about me like that. Like, I want you to be proud. I want you to be like, dang, like, I want you to talk to me. I want you to talk about me with excitement. I want you to talk about me, you know, with awe, with like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so proud and I'm so happy and I'm so honored, you know, that you are my partner, that you are my wife. You know, and I'm not no Simone Biles in levels of, you know, wealth, in levels of, you know, talent, you know, with gymnastics or whatever the case is. But like I said, a person being a good partner to you and for you to be proud of who they are as a partner to you has nothing to do with their income. It has nothing to do with their career. It has nothing to do with where they rank in society. It has nothing to do with that. It just has everything to do with the kind of person that they are to you. And watching this interview... One came out as a better partner than the other. And Jonathan, it wasn't, it wasn't giving. It just was not giving. But anyway, child, speaking of gymnastics, here comes a lady who just went through. She was doing all her flips. Doing all of her flips to make sure that her man was seen as, you know, a provider, you know, by covering the bill. Let's just watch this video together and let me know your thoughts on this. person you know what I'm saying like I'm generous with gifting I'm generous with my time I'm very generous in all those different ways but I also don't want my man to feel as though he has to take credit for all the things that I'm doing can I shine let me shine in this relationship for, for a goddamn second if you want to be able to pay for the dinner then go work and actually afford the dinner off your old goddamn dime instead of sitting over here taking my dime and then coming across like, hey, did I pay the bill? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. And it's like, I'm sure everybody that's applauding this sis is a bunch of dusties sitting there with the podcast. It's a bunch of dusties with the podcast. That's what it's giving. Like, no. What should I think about this? Like, am I bugging? Am I being too harsh? Like, 
I don't I don't have a problem. I literally have no problem with paying a bill. And for me, it's like, okay, I don't want it to be a pattern where it starts with a bill. Now, next thing you know, everything you know, everything you do, he wants to take credit for. That's not how that works. Let your woman shine. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She seemed like a good woman, and it's like, are y'all doing this for real? To me, it's tacky. To me, it's giving soft pin. Very much soft pin. Soft. The pin is soft. It's giving soft pin and fragile egos. That's what it's giving. Let me know what your thoughts are, because, baby, I don't know. I just don't know. I just, I don't feel... I don't think it's fair that women have to go through and do all these different things. Like, why? Like, why? You know, you should have, you should feel joyous. You should be happy that your woman has it and doesn't mind. But, like, why would you feel like you have to take credit for that? Is there a perspective that I'm missing? Please comment below and let me know. Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm just, like, too hard-headed. And, again, I have no problem with her covering the bill. I don't believe that men need to pay for everything. I don't subscribe to that. I don't subscribe to that. But if I'm going to pay, then I'm going to pay. I don't need to be going to work, trying to go calm now, and I have to pay this thing. And then I have to do all these gymnastics to cater to your ego. No. I need a man that is confident in his masculinity to know that having money or not having money does not define him. You know what I'm saying? That it's okay. It's okay if the woman makes more than you. It's okay. That there's nothing wrong with that. It's okay if your woman, you know, has a little bit more salary to your name. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. There is everything wrong with you now sitting here making her feel bad. And I wonder who, who took this video. Because I, I have a question. Like, what, what were you trying to impress? Maybe you had company? Because it, it looked like it was just the two of y'all. Like, this don't make no goddamn sense to me. It just don't. But you know what I'm saying? Like, those are my thoughts. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. My camera is dying again, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this video right here. Please make sure that you subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you always know when I upload. And again, Merry Christmas to all you saints that be celebrating Jesus. Uh, and the rest of you that do now, you know, I'm going to wish you a happy holidays by the 26th. But for today till tomorrow, it's going to be Merry Christmas. Okay? Bye, Zs.